हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई एम मुकेश मणि त्रिपाठी फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट स्कूल स्कूल वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय टुडे सेशन इन व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट योर सैंपल ऑफ पेपर व्हाट शॉर्ट ऑफ पेपर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट इन दिस एकेडमिक ईयर फॉर क्लास 10 सब्जेक्ट दैट इज रिटन ऑन द बोर्ड इट इज इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एंड लिटरेचर right so as you all know that uh, 30% of your course is uh, revised already by cbsc and uh, we are just going to discuss what sort of questions you are going to get in your paper right earlier your paper was uh, divided into four sections section a b c d um, and uh, you all know that uh, how it um, uh, goes but for this academic year for this academic session your paper is divided into only 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 two sections right section a section a and section b where uh, section a is completely based on optional questions optional questions and section b is up to the writing mode so i'm just going to take up the section a right now uh, for you all and i'll tell you that what sort of questions you are going to find out in section a right section a is uh, basically your uh, section a is having almost uh, four or five question including some grammar five questions basically five questions and uh, it is almost uh, four five and six six questions six questions are there and uh, you will get all these six questions in optional form right including grammatical part some grammar is there uh, which includes your uh, fill ups uh, like articles prepositions conjunctions and even some grammatical terms so uh, you all are uh, requested to pay your attention as i am going to find out the part a or the section a which is having the optional parts right question 1 i am talking about question 1 question 1 and question 2 right these questions are related to unseen passage unseen passage and uh, these unseen passages you have gone through with in mind also and uh, right now you are going to get it. unseen passages in these unseen passages you are going to find 12 questions and out of these 12 questions you have to perform 10 right and all the questions are having four option every question is having four option so whatever the questions are there you have to go through it properly and try to find out the best possible answer if the best possible answer you are providing you will get one marks if you are fail to go through with it, the best answer you lose one so make sure be attentive while you are performing your answer c 1 2 3 how many times you may go through with the passage now if we talk about the third question third questions related to this part it is related to literature question number 3 it is uh, having uh, 3a and 3b 
either of the question you have to perform from this third question, either third A or third B. But uh, be careful that it may be this B part is may be related to visually impaired students or visually impaired candidates. इन जो बच्चे देख नहीं सकते हैं उनके लिए हो सकता है इसलिए आपको अपने पेपर पर ध्यान देना होगा एंड दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री फोर वट एवर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री एंड फोर दीज क्वेश्चन आर फ्रॉम लिटरेचर Literature it means from your book, your textbook, right? Your textbook it means footprints without feet and first part, right? So you have to go through with all the chapters properly, see the things in a proper manner. You will find your answers properly. And I would like to tell you the very next question, the question related to grammar. Third four, four question we have gone through with in section eight. Fifth one, question number fifth is related to grammar. Fifth question is related to grammar. Well, what sort of questions you are going to get? Phillips one. Phillips. It means fill in the blanks in which you are going to get. Again, you are going to get four options. This is also options. Four of all options, right? It means you are going to get A, B, C, D. These options, and you have to take one. Which one is the correct? This is what you have to go through with question number five, and question number six is uh, also. The second thing, the question number six, it is also related to grammatical part, and uh, this is also a short of filler, also a short of filler, but it may be in pictorial form. It may be in pictorial form, right? Are you all getting it? It may be in pictorial form, and you have to find out your fillers in form of conversation. In form of conversation, right? In the form of conversation. Are you getting me properly? This is uh, all about your section A. Now we will discuss about section B. Now, students, uh, we are just going to find out that what you are going to get in section B, or we may say part B. Part B is uh, totally uh, filled with a, a very new thing for uh, you all, and that is analytical paragraph. This is analytical paragraph. This one is the new because uh, in this question you are going to get a bar graph or a pie chart, whatever is there. You are going to get some uh, data in a tabular form, and you have to go through with the explanation of uh, that paragraph as per the requirement, whatever is the question uh, demands. So uh, I would like to tell you all that how you are going to get good marks in this analytical paragraph. You have to write um, basically in three steps. First step, you have to find out the introduction. Introduction that should be in uh, one or two lines, not more than that. Then you have to go through the, uh, with the part that uh, the body of the paragraph. Body, body of the paragraph means what details you are going to give in that 
it means uh, the relevant figures, the uh, explain the trends, what sort of trend is asking in that uh, section, and uh, comparison and uh, the contrast of the passage you have to find out, and you have to find out the requirements. And uh, lastly, the third step, it is going to find out that uh, what you are going to give it is conclusion. These are the things which covers in this part, which gives you a better response to find the best options, good results, and you are going to get good marks even if you are using these instructions in your examination paper. Right? Now, uh, it is also uh, divided into two. Uh, the, uh, the question have options basically question number A. It is having A and B or you have to perform either A or B. You are going to get good options in that also. Now, if we talk about the next question that is uh, related to this part 8 and uh, ninth, even uh, the things are there. If we talk about the ninth question, it is uh, related to grammar. Means that you all know that uh, this section of grammar is having only two things. In uh, last sessions, you, are, you have got uh, so many things. It is uh, related to omission, editing, fillers, your uh, rearrangement of words. These are now extracted. Now, only the things which you are going to have in your writing section that are letters. Letters. And uh, as you all know that letters are bifurcated into two, either it is uh, formal or informal. But in this session, in your current session, you are going to get formal letters. And as we um, uh, come to our sessions, uh, in, your, in our regular online sessions, we will tell you that uh, how formal letters or informal letters may be made. So uh, the next thing which uh, we are going to find out, now again you are going to get a writing section basically where you will get marks. So, the writing section, it is totally related to your literature. Literature. And from 10, 11, and 12, and 13, these questions are having their own options, but you have to perform in terms of writing. Right? Question number 10, if we talk about it is from literature, either from the books, 10 and 11, either from the books, either from, uh, it uh, may be from uh, your uh, footprints without print, means you are going to get three questions, you have to perform any from footprint without print. Or if we talk about the another book that is first flight, you will get three questions from that book also, and uh, you have to perform any. Got it? Now we are going to see the next question. Eleven and twelve we are down to with. Uh, so the. This one is critical and this one is from poetry. Prose. This one is from prose and this one is from poetry. Right? Three questions, any two. It is easy to perform, easy to get good marks in that. Now we are going to see the twelfth question. It uh, gives you an instruction to perform your answer in 100 and 120 words. 100 to 120 words. Right? This 